The Olden World Written by Tsar Yoshi Chapter 685 The Grand Vanguard Ahem, everyone! Gerardo's voice faded in on the ship's intercom, loud enough to arouse ponies from slumber. Pardon the interruption, but we're almost there. I think it would be prudent this time to put together a welcome party before we're boarded by Cerusians. Oh, seriously? Valet sat up, scrubbing sleep from her eyes. I thought we had a few more minutes. She was on a cushion on the floor of Maple and Starlight's room, too self-conscious to join them in their pile with Amber, but having given up her own room long ago to make space for all the guests the ship was taking on. Amber's face quickly peered out at her from above. What's going on, she mumbled. Starlight was already on her hooves. We're there, she announced, repeating after Gerardo. We should go to the deck in case there are more bad ponies. Finally, Maple murmured, rolling upright. The other van makes me uncomfortable. I'll be glad to get him off the ship. Yeah, let's get rid of him, Valet yawned, stretching. I'm gonna go make sure Felicity's up since she's our translator and all. See ya! Less than five minutes later, Starlight had stretched, gotten a drink, let Maple ensure her mane was presentable and was halfway up the stairs to the deck, the door standing open before her. Slipstream and jam jars were waiting for her, the latter looking proud of her speed, and Shinespark and Granada stood at the railing, watching the horizon. So I guess we're the welcome wagon, Amber declared, glancing onto the bridge and waving at Gerardo. A pretty good showing, don't you think? Now we just need valet. We are here, Felicity sang, climbing carefully out behind them with Valet at her tail. Nearly to the temple, are we? Valet flew out beside the ship for a better look, then returned with a nod. Pretty sure I can see some dudes coming to greet us already. Starlight readied her guard, though she knew she had no role in however this meeting was going to go. Harshwater wasn't there, but she was injured, and Niala was guarding Yanavan. Everyone else was there, and everyone else was ready. There was nothing she could do but wait. Soon enough, the beating of wings filled the skies, and five armored bat ponies with chest plates and spears flew into sight, keeping a safe distance from the ship while trying to circle and inspect its energy comet. She could hear them talking, though not make out their words over the comet's gentle shimmer. They noticed the ponies on the deck at the same time as Starlight noticed them and drew closer, seeming to decide the comet posed no danger. Hovering at the side of the ship, their spears highly visible, they spread into a well-practiced line. Friend or foe, the center Cerosian barked. Friend, Shinespark instantly called back, standing sharply at attention. The five visitors, all mares save for the leader, instantly relaxed, the stallion uttering something in Cerosian and sending three of his companions winging away. Fabulous! Traders then? Permission to come aboard? Permission granted, Shinespark replied, stepping away to make room with a smile. You speak our language. It comes in handy, the leader admitted, stowing his spear as he landed and furled his wings, offering a hoof. Jaxi, my title doesn't translate well, but you could call me a captain in the city guard. He pointed a hoof at the mayor who remained with him. And this is my loyal subordinate, Yesna. Yesna, show some manners. Yesna didn't look thrilled by her leader's attitude, standing and maintaining a professional posture, though still not aggressive. A pleasure, she assured. Aha, she's got a real winning personality right there, Jaxie apologized. But she's the only one of my minions who can understand you, and there brooks no argument over that. Shinespark of Sosa, Shinespark took the hoof and shook it. And we're here on business, so thank you for your hospitality. So, let me get this straight, Valet interrupted, wandering up beside her. We're actually going to fly into a new place and not get blown up or fired at for once? She grinned. Bananas, I already love it here. Jaxie jabbed her chest with a hoof. Only in return for your story, little firebrand, he chuckled, returning the grin before wheeling on Shinespark. The land of Sosa? Ironridge Sosa you speak of, hmm? I suspected you weren't Varsidelians. Every foal in Philly knows their Varsidelian ships, yet this technology of yours looks almost otherworldly. It's an experimental prototype, Shinespark answered, tugging on Valet's tail with her telekinesis as a signal to back down. Time marches inexorably, I see. Aha! Doesn't it always? Jaxie spread his shoulders and laughed. So tell, 
What wonders led you to bring this futuristic marvel to our starlit edge of the world? Enlighten me, dear travelers. He certainly enjoys his job, Maple murmured in Amber's ear, close enough for Starlight to hear. Shyspark cleared her throat, glancing at Valet, and then answering, This isn't going to sound very believable. Give me your word, you'll hear us out. But I just said I wanted to know, did I not? Jaxie bowed deeply. Truth is the best kind of nonsense, and I am a master of disbelief. Fill my ears, my good mare. You know that Yenavan guy from a bunch of legends and stuff? Valet cut in. We sort of accidentally found him, and now he's defeated and tied up in our hold. And we've got no idea what to do with him. Jaxie blinked and burst out laughing, punching the deck repeatedly as he howled. Monk <laughs> Lord Yenavan? Did my leg look that yankable to you? Full points and creativity, ladies, but if you're looking for the council's autographs, Alas for you, they don't have the sense of humor we do. But come, come, don't let me turn you away so easily. He slowly regained his composure, though couldn't fully banish a lingering mad grin. Being travelers alone might be enough to get into almost anyone's good graces in times like these. Yes, nah, shot him a cross look. It's our duty to investigate threats, not laugh at them. Shinespuck, can we see your captive? Yes, let's... Jaxie wiped a tear from his eye, his voice tight with suppressed laughter. I'm dying here. Somebody, help! Yesna slapped him. Ow! What was that for? Jaxie rubbed a stinging welt on his face as Valet, Shinespark, and everyone else watched in terrified fascination. I said I was going, did I not? Yesna? Come, let us investigate this Yenavan. You do one thing to free him, and I'll knock all three of your blocks off, Valet threatened, readying her hooves. This way. As Valet and Shinespark led the guards to the entrance at the stern, Granada fell back alongside the others. I have no respect for the society as a professional organization. Darling, Felicity murmured, turning her head. Bear in mind, this is why there exists a concept of being put on the front lines. End of chapter 685